Armillo has been a long time coming. Believe it or not, Fuzzy Wuzzy Games has been hard at work crafting the world for this big-eyed armadillo for three and a half years, and has just now seen a release on the Wii U eShop. One would hope, and the developers most certainly would as well, that the wealth of time spent painstakingly developing the ins and outs of this game wound up creating an all-around fantastic experience, and after spending some time with it, I found that Armillo is not half bad. Being an action-rolling platformer, Armillo has you taking control of an orange spherical space armadillo and guiding him through puzzling obstacles in an effort to save his brother and take down the nefarious dark boss that are threatening their world. Combining elements from Super Mario Galaxy, Marvel Madness, and even a hint of Sonic the Hedgehog since the character obviously rolls and can spin dash, you get a wacky little adventure that stands out from the array of other titles sitting in the eShop right now. Armillo features a mixture of both 3D obstacle course-like stages and 2D platforming stages a la Super Mario Bros, but the 3D levels are really the game's bread and butter here. In these, you'll essentially be navigating from one puzzle to the next around circular planets, and even rolling into portals to jump back and forth between parallel dimensions where even more puzzles lie to reach the end goal. What's great about Armillo is that the game is never short of new ideas, with many stages introducing some new gameplay mechanic. You'll strap on a cannon to send a barrage of bullets at enemies and hazards, gobble up tons of food to turn into a massive armadillo, slide along slippery surfaces on those snowy planets, messing with the wonders of gravity, and more. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, Armillo will throw some new idea out there to keep you on your toes and keep things fresh. Armillo also does well to encourage the player to explore your surroundings instead of making a beeline for the exit. Throughout each stage, blue orbs can be found scattered throughout, and collecting as many as you can is well worth it, as these glowing balls of goodness will act as currency to purchase upgrades for Armillo. There are a healthy number of enhancements you can buy, such as extra health, time, lives, or even abilities, so putting the brakes on Armillo and gathering up all the goodies has its benefits. Plus, most of the main ensemble of 3D stages harbor a secret red orb hidden away somewhere in the parallel dimension, that when found will unlock one of the previously mentioned 2D stages. There's around the same number of 2D stages as there are 3D, and you'll even need to complete a specific number of 2D levels at certain intervals if you want to continue along in the story and complete all five worlds. The 3D stages are handled slightly better than what the 2D stages have to offer though. The 2D stages are definitely not terrible as I did rather enjoy them, but the way Armillo is controlled in these platforming sections is not exactly rock solid. Armillo's physics here are different than his 3D counterpart as he feels more floaty and also gauging the use of the double jump can be a little tricky, so you may find yourself bumping into hazards every so often. When it comes to Armillo's graphical art style, it's not something that's out of this world exciting, but it gets the job done. When a game is created with polygons, it's hard for me to like it unless a lot of care is put into every inch of the environments to make things really pop, so Armillo doesn't make the biggest impression with me. I do rather like the shiny lighting effects and textures that Fuzzy Wuzzy applied to the planets themselves, and I do need to give them props on the healthy variety of environments they created for the armadillo to dash through. It's also pretty neat when you roll up a ramp and navigate through obstacles that are placed high above the level, giving you a nice aerial view of your surroundings. On the flip side, Armillo can be rather dark at times with areas being shrouded in shadows, so it would have been nice if things were brightened up a bit. Also worth noting is that I found the frame rate would stutter slightly at times instead of sticking at a constant speed, especially when too much is going on screen, and it can just be kind of off-putting. On the other hand, Fuzzy Wuzzy did a pretty great job working on the soundtrack of Armillo, giving it an upbeat synth-style arrangement. There are a good number of different music pieces as well, so you won't get stuck listening to the same tunes over and over again. You can probably blitz through Armillo in about 3 hours, but it's got post-game content that will extend its life beyond that. There are the aforementioned 2D platforming stages that you'll need to find hidden somewhere in the main 3D levels, and there is even a secret world for you to take a stab at. But if you're the type of person who likes to best your own scores, you can try to get the prized gold medal in each and every stage by collecting a ton of blue orbs, refraining from losing lives, and finishing in a timely manner. There is nothing quite like Armillo on the Wii U eShop currently, and that is most certainly noteworthy as it makes it stand out from the crowd, but there is just something about Armillo that keeps it from being a showpiece title. Armillo throws out a lot of different gameplay ideas, but not all of them feel like they are executed in ways that make them really shine. It's quite joyous being able to speed through twists, turns, and steep inclines whenever those instances pop up, and strapping on a gun to set out a volley of bullets is pretty entertaining. Fuzzy Wuzzy Games put a lot of time and effort into the development of Armillo, and that is definitely commendable, but it just didn't turn out to be an amazing title. It's by no means a bad game, but it's not something that you'll need to run and grab a credit card for, but rather, if you have some extra cash laying around the house and you want a little something to play on your Wii U to pass some time before the next big release, Armillo is there. So in all, the GamingPixelShow.com finds Armillo to be a good game. But that will bring us to the end of this review, and if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff, and you can stay tuned for more video reviews, news videos, and that's on Mirror's episodes in the future. But I will talk to you later in the next video guys, bye!